Hello everybody, welcome back to MapQuest, the Portal Crystals. My name is Bleeker, and today's episode is unfortunately going to be a relatively brief one again. So we're kind of in a weird spot here in the quest. I've got two options, two little paths to travel. One, I can finish off this quest right here for the old ruins. And we get money, which money is going to help us a lot. Or we can continue on with the main quest, and you'll open up a gate that's over there. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, you know what? Let's go open up the gate. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to go try to attempt to open up the gate. Yeah, we'll open up the gate. We'll come back for the ruin, uh, the ruin portal crystal next episode. So what we have to do is over here is the um, what do they call it here, Lake Memora, the Lake Memora Gate. And if we open this up, apparently it's gonna piss people off and get them out of bed. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a stretch, but. I, I just do the walkthroughs of this map, okay? I don't do the storyline, although I'm curious if there is anything of interest over yonder. Oh, yonder! Nope, nothing of interest, extreme interest off the beaten trail. Eh, there we go. And... Oh, here we go. Yo! Hey, Mr. Gatekeeper, I spoke to the mayor of Haybill Village. He wants you to open the gate. Do it! Do it now! Well, the mayor wants to get the gate open, so you... Well, the mayor wants the gate open, so you better get right to it. God, this guy's an asshole. No, only joking. The problem is I can't open the gate from this side. The cobwebs on, on the other side are preventing the gate from opening. Hey, if you turn around and walk back towards Haybill Village, you can buy some web cutters from... Os Osomatic? Osom Osomic Man? Osomic Man's house? I'm probably butchering that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yes. Let's go update quest 9. Okay, so Awesome, Awesome, th this guy, he's going to go sell us shears, which we're going to be able to use to get into. And uh, this is why money is a little bit of a bottleneck at this point in the game. It kind of bottlenecks you in two places, and I hope I have the right currency on me. This is the last time I didn't. Lot three. There we go. Oh, yes. Hey, you want to buy my famous web shears? Well, you're on an important quest. Oh, click here to continue. Oh, at below cost. Sweet. Click on me to make the trade. So I need 20 of these. Oh, I didn't bring the right currency. Do I have... Any? Yes, I do. Nice. So it's going to take 20 gold coins. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Anything good here? Oh, I'll take the raw salmon. I'll need that at some point. I won't need it at some point. Oop, bottles. Yes, take those to the bottle exchange for currency. Um... Huh. A few more gold coins. That's 10% of what I gave him. So we're doing good. Silver coins, not bad. Oh, looks like there's some silver coins out here as well. Very nice, very nice. Nice. The last time I did this, I didn't have the money, so I had to run all the way back to Stonewell Village because I need don't have enough... I don't have enough um, fast travel hubs opened up yet. Yeah. Um, I need to find... I think I need to find one more teleport hub to use them. I don't remember how this works. But anyway, so... Now that we have the web cutters, let's... Can I see something here? Oh, cool. Chest. I'm just going to deposit a little bit of my money here. I'm going to keep that on me. Don't need that. Don't need that yet. Don't need that. Need those. Mayor's drop note. I can actually just throw that over there. It really is a drop note. Ha-ha! 
break the web, enter through the iron door, once inside, ride the transport cart, hells yeah! This way, I'm gonna set my spawn point. All right, so then, teleport. Okay, the this is like my favorite part in any Mick map is the minecart portion of our adventure. There's something here? Yes, there is. More chests, more money. My favorite portion of any of Mick's maps has to be the Minecraft, the minecart scene. Okay, now here are some rules. Before riding, let the area load for 20 seconds. Do not leave the cart. There are no treasures. Sit back and enjoy the ride. It's 100% safe, I think. All right, here we go. All right, since the minecart's pretty much over, I can talk again. I really like this, I really like the minecart, so I don't usually talk so that we can, you know, enjoy it. Just sit there and enjoy it. But anyways, back down. More money. Anyways, back down I go. Thank you, dog. Come on, let me jump. Oh, whatever. Hello, Tamrin. We meet again. I am projecting my image and talking to you through my crystal ball. Lake Memorial Gate is not far from here. Just follow the signs behind you. Thank you. Again. Oh. And go back to see the mirror. Yes, I, I knew that. So there's the gate over yonder. So let's open this up. Go talk to the mayor. And I think we got ourselves an episode. Opening the late... Memora Gate. Need the water hat before this will open. Also have a pickaxe handy. Yes. I don't know where the water hat... Actually, I do know where the water hat is. I just never did that particular portal crystal. So then let's do... Thank you. So now that's done, we can go let the mayor know we've completed our task. He will open up the gate to the Seven Mages Village, and we can... <sighs> Excuse me. And we can progress in our adventure. Um, let me think. Unfortunately, there's no... Um, how do I put this? Quick way to get back into the Haybell Village that I've discovered. So, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go the long way. Oh, there we go. And there we are. Oh, just ran out of food. That's better. It's about the only thing that I ever buy in these games is more food. So I know I'm going to get the best armor eventually. Might as well just hold out. And then speak to the mayor. Yo, dog. Got her done. You got the gates open. Well, as promised, I've made arrangements. You are now able to enter West Oak... Lind and the Seven Mages Village. Thanks for the help. Maybe this time we'll have more visitors now the gate is open. And that's main quest 10. 
or main quest nine completed. We may now access, or we may now go to Seven Mages Village. Oh, she's actually not, she's actually nice. Anything worthwhile taking from you? Not really. All right, what else is there? Um, well, interestingly enough, right here. I believe the shop close has a secret. There it is. Get in, get anything beyond these. No. Yeah, I had to remember this shop had a uh, had either storyline. It didn't advance the storyline, I don't think, but it was just kind of a neat thing that I discovered. There it is. A new life by John Ronald moved out. I am leaving this town. Everybody keeps themselves and seldom likes outsiders. How can I continue trading? I only get one customer a week. I am packing up and moving to Cliffside Terrace. That's why this store is not open. Was there anything else over here? I don't believe so. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time I have. Oh, hey, look, the gate's now open. That's nice. That's nice. Unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. When we come back next time, we're going to investigate the ruined village or the ruins over here and then we're going to go to um the seven mages village and just follow along with the rest of the storyline eventually we are going to run out of main quests here pretty soon from then there it's up to us to kind of create the story ourselves and you know make our way through this adventure but that is for next time guys until then this has been bleaker be seeing you Thank <laughs> you.